Oh, oh, shalom again in this series of Rastafari strategic relocation. If you can't trust Jah, then how can you trust man? Think about it for a moment. Since Jah has revealed himself in his son, Joshua, the true God-man, the true son of God. So if you can't trust God, right, then how can you trust man? And if you trust man in the, the arm of the flesh and you don't trust Jah, then, then woe to you. You understand? You're already in woe. I'm not saying woe to you and your woe is beginning, but your woe is already. But a lot of people are unconscious. They really don't get it. Let's, let's continue right here with this um, series right here. And I, I kind of alluded to it briefly um, in the last uh, video. This might be another 15 minutes or so. 15 minute production so I can get up on Ethiopian World uh, Net and we're directing more attention to um, Rastafari Sabbatico as well as um, to Ethiopian World Net 911 just in case anything happens um, untowards you understand to our to our um, um, to this channel this channel Ethiopian World uh, Net so you'll you'll be able to know on um, that that's what we put in the hashtag Rastafari Sabbatical as well now um let us get to uh, this particular speech right here of his Imperial Majesty I think it, it's very timely with um you know what's going on right here I could go from the I could go from the, the good news or, or the Gohan right here it is uh what is the speech of His Majesty? And I, I think it best speaks to December 21st and any other time like that. Even though the word is very clear to us, it says that men's hearts, right, men's hearts will feel them. Men's hearts. And say men's heads. Men are all intellectually, you know, debating, well, you think this is it? Well, that fact doesn't match this fact. And, and, and the translation there is this, so forth and so on. But what does your heart tell you? Right? What does your heart tell you? Right? What does your heart? See, the head and the heart is very important. But first, you do have to take on knowledge in the head. You have to take on knowledge in the head. Because the Almighty does not want us, you know, does not want us um, ignorant. He would not have us ignorant. Men and people would have you ignorant. You understand? Um, some folks will say, well, if this December 21st is really something, right, if it's really something, then um, how come the government doesn't prepare? Oh, they're preparing. Oh, they, they're preparing. That's why we say that preparing yourself physically is important. It's very, very important. But in and of itself, right, in and of itself, apart from any spiritual preparation, is vain, is fleeting, is useless. Right, and it's only going to make matters worse, and and that's kind of like where, that's kind of like where we're at already, right? That's kind of like where we're at already. I'm so eager to get this. I'm I'm probably passing over the page. I didn't um. I didn't uh. I didn't. Okay, I didn't put anything in here to um. I didn't put anything in here to mark the page, so excuse me for a moment. All right. So okay. So anyway, where is this? I'm just so excited to to share this with you, you all, brothers and sisters. We have to take heed how we hear, because there's going to be a lot of false propaganda. There's going to be a lot of false information. A lot of people are just making a lot of money off of physically preparing you. You understand? And in spite of all the physical um, preparation some folks have, they are still stressed out. Right? They are still stressed out. They are still basically unprepared. Right? They are still prepared. Uh, um, they, they still are unprepared. Okay. Let's see where this thing is at. All right. Maybe I'll have to pause this and just sit down and find the page. Find the page for you all. But it's interesting how His Majesty says concerning Africa that um, our 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 Armageddon is past already. Of course, a lot of folks probably won't won't accept that because it's African. You understand? And 
but we've already been in this hell and we're still in this hell as it is. You understand, but we're passing through these things, right? Um, okay, let me just let me just go here. I'll read this right here, and then we'll pick up on it. We'll pick up on this. His Majesty says right here, as the Gospels, right, as the Gospel tells us, a house built upon strong foundations can never be overthrown by storms. A house that is built, and, and see, the gospel is not just talking about a physical house. It's using the physical house as an example. You understand? As a, as a, as a, um, an example, in other words, a parable, a, a, a proverb. He says, similarly, when people are built up with minds, with minds, right, well-formed by education and knowledge, well-formed, and this is, unfortunately, a lot of us have been ill-informed, right? But when, when minds, right, when people are built up with minds, well-formed by education and knowledge, no trial of whatever kind can conquer them. No trial of whatever can conquer them. Therefore, as regards the teachers who go forth from this center, prepared for the task ahead, it is our hope that they will advise, help and teach their brothers living in the country districts in matters of health, health, pena, of husbandry, of handicraft, and other useful spheres, placing the knowledge they have gained from new cultural methods at the service of each and every Ethiopian, each and every brother and sister, right, um, Ethiopian, well, of course, but of course, right, and we're not talking about the careless Ethiopians, the careless Ethiopians, y'all are like, uh, you're like Esau, you know, your soul is your birthright for something to eat, you know, you can cry about it if you want to, the only thing you should do is, is repent, if you repent, you, you know, see, in the Old Testament, there wasn't that opportunity, but in the New Testament, there is that opportunity. My brothers and sisters, I am looking for this this area right here in the scripture and I mean in uh, his majesty's autobiography, which is which is the scripture if you if you can receive it. Right? If you can receive it. Um all right, let's see. Uh, um here we go, here we go, here we go. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, there's more to this. But we'll get into this. Let's let's just um, um, speak on a couple of things right here. All right. Um, it makes no sense to be physically prepared and spiritually unprepared. That should make sense to folks. You understand? Because if um, a, a body, right, a body without a soul is dead, and the spirit is the fuel of the soul. You know what I'm saying? The spirit is the fuel of the soul. Because some folks will say, we're saying not to get prepared physically. No, we're saying don't be only physically prepared and spiritually unprepared. Then any ghost or demon or boo, you understand, will we'll, 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 we'll fray them, will shake them, will break them. You know, there's some folks, like I said, are getting physically prepared and everything, but they're going to be spiritually unprepared. And there's other folks who are getting spiritually prepared and, and due to, um, you know, worldly situations, they're not able to, you know, have a place up in the mountains and, and in the country and have um, 10 years worth of food and, and guns and ammunition and the underground bomb shelter and so forth and so on, right? But those people down there, it's like the Twilight Zone movie. Remember the Twilight Zone movie about a Twilight Zone episode and these folks had like a bomb shelter and everything like that and they only had like room for a certain amount of people. 